this is uh, Gundam UK with another update. Yeah, another one. Um, where to start? Okay, this week uh, I've received a couple of new things. I've got a Wild Tiger <sighs> Master Grade from Tiger and Money, or of course. I really like the anime, so I bought the model. Why not? Probably, uh, I'll paint that up at one point. Um, also got this Jester from uh, Unicorn, of course. I've always liked this mobile suit. I think it's um, a very cool looking kind of Spec Ops type uh, model. I saw one recently on Gundam Guy that was weathered and it looked fantastic. So um, yeah, I should probably attempt to do something similar. Maybe come out, I don't know, something like that. Let's, let's see how that goes. Um, I also completed this week uh, my high grade age one Swallow uh, Halloween custom. Um, funny thing is, I, I started painting this one up um, with different shades of green, uh, and then I added some orange just to kind of offset it a bit, make it pop a bit, something. And when I finished, uh, I showed it to my wife, and she said, Oh, did you do that for Halloween? And I thought, Okay, <laughs> yeah, we'll make that a Halloween custom. And uh, when I posted the pictures on Facebook, um, Hollingbird, a very, a very good model, uh, suggested um, it should be called the Jack O' Lantern custom. So I thought, okay, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> so it's uh, the Halloween custom Jack O' Lantern special thing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, some images for you as um, I'm rambling on. Um, some of the things uh, I have been working on. This Zeta, who is currently without arms, um, I've just finished doing some thrust up work, I don't know if you can see it. That one, no you can't see that one. But I've um, L cladded those, made them all chromey and shiny. Um, I still need to panel line and detail it, I say it every week, but I never get around to it, because I'm too bloody busy. So, it's there anyway, it's in progress. I have like, some kind of progress, I've been working on the arms here. I don't know if you can see stuff well, but um, I added little details into the guns in his arms there. Uh, some other stuff. Um, yeah. Have you seen Sleeper 1980's 148th new gun then? Whoa. Link down here to that. Um, some awesome LED work. I've never seen anything like it. It's fantastic. Um, the amount of work that's gone into that is absolutely astounding. And uh, yeah, much respect uh, to Sleeper 1980. Also to, uh, I want to quickly shout out McKenna Man who's doing a Q&A at the minute. Uh, so if you need to know anything about modelling in general or Gunpla or anything, um, he's, he's the, uh, the man, the, the oracle stuff. So head over to there, link down here, um, and you can ask him anything. Um, I've learned a lot from him, so um, that's about it really. Uh, yeah, today I'm going to get on with the Zeta and um, I'm also going to be working on my website. <laughs> As always, um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked this video, It's um, yeah, and comment, yeah, I like comments, comments are good. Um, like to engage with people, it's awesome. Um, cool, if you could have a look to my Facebook page, uh, www.facebook.com slash gundamuk, that would be also awesome. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, next video it will be a, a let's build uh, for the Ryu Ray Kai frame -ups. So, I will. If I start it today, I may post a video during the week, I'm not sure. I'm pretty busy during the week, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. And I will see you again very soon. Okay, goodbye.